In this episode of Darcy's Sizzle Offshore, Darcy's fans are given the power to decide whether she would go for bass or tackle inshore saltwater fishing. You decided, Darcy's Sizzle fished. Now watch as Darcy fishes inshore, manhandling dangerous sharks and monster snook. In this episode of Darcy's Sizzle Offshore, viewer's choice. going out and it's a super high tide right now so we have anchored our boat outside of a channel and we are going to have our baits drift back into the channel so we're right on the edge of the channel anchored up and I just dropped over the chum and as soon as this starts to thaw out and start moving hopefully that'll attract the big predator fish like the sharks so now it's time to get lines out Come on. She gets hit. We had two shark lines out and one of and when the shark hit, both lines went off. And then we realized we were actually tangled up. The top and the bottom line somehow got twisted together. So we had a little bit of a ordeal to mess with and fix. And uh, my other leader is probably attached somewhere down here where the shark is. Um, but that's fishing, but fun. Damn, he's not giving up. Drag's pretty good. Look at the shark! That's a really big shark. Usually the sharks we catch inshore are like three or four feet long. This one is a good size one. Um, he definitely came in from offshore to feed. And he's putting up a really good fight. Usually I land the inshore sharks by now. shark fought him for a good amount of time and just lost it by the side of the boat um, I think the hook just ended up pulling out of his mouth um, and he did definitely fray up the 400 pound mono right here you can see it but um, the hook did his job and he got released somehow and you can see there's a whole big tangled mess along with my leader that we got to fix um, so hopefully we can land officially land the next one Okay, so I want to explain a little bit about the shark setup that I'm using today so you can do it too. And I am using my Accurate Valiant Reel. So I've got my reel and I've got my braid and the shark rig that I have, I'm using 400 pound mono. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the sharks in shore are not that big. They're pretty on the small side, probably between like three and five feet. So using 400 pound mono is best because you'll have a better hookup ratio with the sharks versus using wire. Um, they don't like the taste of wire. So usually with mono we can get the bite and usually they're hooked up right away. And we are using about three feet of 400 pound mono and then we've got the hook crimped on and we have a Mustad A dot perfect circle, circle hook and it's three times strong. So it's perfect for these little sharks in shore, catches them up and We've got the other side of the leader crimped on and then attached to the swivel. And then we also use this, which is a device, a balloon clip from balloonfisherking.com. And basically the balloon clip allows you to clip it on to your line. And when you, have your, when you send out the line and waiting for the bite, you can see where it is on the surface. And that way you can go ahead and separate your baits from the other ones. Um, so that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. And we're about to set out a bait right now. Oh, nice! Oh, I just pulled. No, he did She's going crazy. So we we're wrapping up our shark fishing and tying up lines to go ahead and do some snook fishing and jack crevall fishing. And 
the line just snapped and took off and we got a spitter shark on I'm pretty sure he did about two or three nice jumps took a long run so uh, just catch a second shark see if we can officially land him there he is fun little shark Seems like the same size. I think it's smaller. A little smaller. Okay. Keep him over here. to take out the hook and as I was lifting him up he slipped off and broke the 400 pound mono so it was in his mouth pretty good and uh, we were just trying you know to take the hook out and be good people and it broke before we could do so so he swam away no problem and I hit myself in the face <laughs> when the line snapped so good battle and until the next fish stay tuned so we ended up catching two sharks when we chummed up the water and the current was moving good. So now we are switching it up and we are doing some snook trolling right now and I'm letting out my lines, I'm letting out my favorite pink shrimp. And we're trolling about the same that we, tro that we trolled um, in my previous video, A Day in the Life of Dar Sizzle. And you can check that out over there. Um, so I'm gonna catch some fish and I'll let you know what happened. So just caught the first snook of the day. Got a couple jacks before and a bluefish. And we just got a nice snook. And it's the lure that has been crushing it lately. And he's a cute little guy, but he put up a good fight. Nice job. So we got a cute little snook right here. So I'm gonna take the hooks off and release them. But I just wanna remind you guys about my Patreon account that you can check out at patreon.com forward slash Darcizzle Offshore. And basically, you can go take a look at it, but there's different types of rewards for different pledges. And you can pledge for a minimum of $1 a month to help me out to create these videos for you guys so you guys can do better fishing and also to allow me to get better camera equipment and travel to amazing destinations to keep bringing these awesome videos to you guys. So just check that out when you get the chance. But um, other than that, this lure has been crushing it. And the, the snooks and the jacks, everything really loves it. I think it has to do with all the different colorful, all the different colors on this particular lure. It's got orange on the bottom side and some stripes. And it's a Gizuri 3D minnow. It's not the crystal minnow, it's just the regular minnow. And um, I think this is one of their newer designs that they came out with. And I got them with my Lucky Tackle Box subscription. And they're really great lure. So I've got the travel hooks out of this little guy. And I also put him in my live well to revive him a little bit. And he's good to go. So I'm gonna release him and you know hopefully catch a bigger fish than this. <laughs> Still a great snook though. Snooks is snook, can't complain. <laughs> Ow! He's right here, he's leaving. We are wrapping up our day and headed out to our marina. Nice snook. That line. Oh my god. You gotta get that long line. You gotta get the. Oh my gosh, nice snook. You gotta get these lines up. Oh my gosh, he's huge. You gotta get that long now. He's gonna tangle. Wait, Dave, he's gonna tangle. It's a big fish. Not kidding. 
All right, perfect. He's wrapped here. Just wrapped one silver here. There he is. He's huge. Oh! He's huge! He's huge! This fish is huge! Biggest fish of the day. Catching our target species. A nice snook. Gorgeous. And bent the hook. And the treble hook is absolutely bent. Look at that. We just got lucky. Wow. Ready? Sit. Too big. She is 34 and a half. Check out the, this snook we just caught. Prize catch of the day. Monster over slot snook. This fish measured in at 34 and a half inches. And this big girl is going to get released right now. But awesome fish, we, we actually caught our target species thanks to you guys today, so I appreciate your help. Caught this monster snook, another snook, and two sharks. So really great day. I'm gonna go ahead and release this fish so she can get bigger, but she's ready. She seems like she's pretty active. She put up a really great fight and she jumped out of the water. She looked like a dinosaur. So really cool. Maybe slow down the boat just a tad. Okay, put her in the water. And get the water running through her gills. Oh, she seems like she's good. Let me just make sure. Ow! Ow! Here, fins are kicking, and usually you, when you release fish, you just want to work their head back and forth so that way water gets into their gills. But she seems like she's gonna swim right now, so I'm gonna try to let her go. Here she goes. There goes the dinosaur, down to the deep. So be sure to follow me on, subscribe to my channel. Be, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Twitter. So check that out. Also, please be sure to try and support me on Patreon.com. You can check that out and see what it's all about. So until the next episode, keep on catching.